Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving my review for Jolly Good Christmas, starring Will Kemp and Rich Machete. Uh, this is the Hallmark movie that dropped Saturday night. Um, when I saw the little teaser trailer things that they do for these movies, um, it looked like it could be good. Um... You should, but you don't really get a whole lot of detail with these movies. I always, everything you see is usually like a 30 to 45 second clip or trailer. So you don't really get a good feel for them. You just kind of go, go by the cast and stuff pretty much. Um, and what little bit you do get. But this looked interesting. Um, I like Will Kemp. He has done some other movies that I've enjoyed with Hallmark. Um... So, going into this, basically the plot of the movie is Will Kemp plays a man who has, he's celebrating his uh, first Christmas, I believe it was, with his girlfriend, and uh, he runs into uh, Rich Machete's character. Uh, she is a person you can hire to buy gifts and does the shopping for you, basically. Um, they get to talking, you know, he, he tells her, you know, he got her, that he got his girlfriend a gift card, you know, obviously she, roundabout way, tells him, you know, that's a sucky gift, especially for your first Christmas together. Um, so he, he ends up hiring her to do the shopping for him, uh, to buy her a gift, because he doesn't know what to get her. He's not good with that kind of stuff. Um, and this is sort of, the next part sort of where I'm, when I, one of my big issues come in. Basically, he ends up having to be, do the shopping with her because he, um, knows nothing about his girlfriend because the way she does it, she bases the gift off of this, off a different question she asked about the person, and he couldn't answer any of the questions about her, so he had to basically help her, which defeated the whole purpose, I felt like, of, of her doing the shopping for him, um, you know, he even brings up, you know, well, you know, I hired you to do it, you know, because I'm not good with this, and she, she's, she's her response is that normally I would do it, but because I have nothing to go on, he has to do it with her. Um, which is where the relationship takes off and why the relationship takes off. So it really kind of, I don't know, it in a way felt a little forced of a storyline for me. Um, there really wasn't... I mean, they were Christmas shopping, and there was some decorating and stuff. But I've seen better themed Christmas movies from Hallmark. Um, it just didn't have that Christmas feel fully for me like I wanted it. Uh, I think the... At times, you know, it obviously did. There, Will Kemp was good, I felt like, in the role... Um, and I felt like there was, at times, some chemistry there between them, but at times not. It just, this is really just a mixed bag film for me. Um, one of the big things that really made me mad with it, too, was they had Will playing a, an American from New York, and if you don't no, Will Kemp does not is not from America. He's he has an accent. Um uh so to me it was a missed opportunity. I felt like there was no need for him to uh have be an American. They could just have him talk normally like they do in all his on a lot of the other Hallmark movies. And 
they decided for whatever reason to make him be an American, and it just didn't work great. Uh, I I felt at times that I could that you could hear the accent coming in and out. Um, he tried his best, but it just wasn't fully working. This whole movie itself just didn't fully work. The the story just wasn't anything special. wasn't anything amazing. Um, it brought a little bit of Christmas feel, but not a, not a lot. Um, and I, I mean, I liked Rich Machete, but I don't know. I just, I didn't believe, I just didn't connect with it. I just didn't connect with this one. Um, and it kind of sucks. I was hoping I would. I think there was, there was a way they could have done this story that could have been like a rom-com in a way. Um, but it maybe kind of made it a little bit better. And they try to add some comedy, but it just, it didn't fully, wait. it just didn't really work. Um, overall, I gave this a two and a half out of five. I was going to go with three, but I feel two and a half is more of a better spot for this. Some may have it lower. Uh, I don't know how many would actually have it high. I think this one isn't really receiving well amongst uh, Hallmark fans, so... Um, we'll see how it does in the ratings and stuff. See how how the views did with it. It probably might have done decent because of Will Kemp and uh, maybe Rich Machete if she's a, a popular one. I'm not. I'm still fairly new, so I don't know how long some of these actors and actresses have been working with Hallmark. Um, but definitely for me, a two and a half out of five. Nothing special. It just just kind of there. It wasn't anything that I would probably watch again. I, I can't see myself re-watching this anytime soon, if ever. So, um, But that is everything from my review for Jolly Good Christmas. So please come like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our videos, and we will see you all in the next one.